For days, we've talked about the government's caution. But this new 50-page plan is actually quite ambitious. Now, it begins incrementally. From Wednesday, you should go to work if you can't work from home, but avoid public transport if possible. If you're in food production, construction, distribution, manufacturing and scientific research, but not hospitality and non-essential shops, which stay shut. People in England now, like those in Scotland, are being advised to wear face coverings in enclosed spaces where social distancing is hard, like public transport. They can be homemade, just don't buy surgical masks because they're needed by healthcare workers. You can now spend as much time as you like in parks and on beaches and, in England, drive an unlimited distance to get there. You can meet one person from another household while you're out, but that's your lot. So mum or dad, but not both together. Childminders are encouraged to work again. Meanwhile, vulnerable children and those of key workers are now being urged to attend school, although this is not legally binding. Step two starts in June at the earliest. This may be when you can meet people freely from other households, but the document has nothing concrete on that yet. The big aim of this period is for all primary children to go back to school at the end of June. Secondary schools are out for the summer, apart from Year 10 and Year 12 pupils who will get some face-to-face -face contact. Non-essential shops can reopen from early June if the infection is on the wane, provided they follow coronavirus guidance. Your favourite sporting events and concerts can also now take place from June, but you can't watch them in person. That might, be not, uh, that might not be possible any time this year. Who needs atmosphere anyway? It may be less than two months away, but July the 4th is the earliest date that Step 3 could be implemented. This is broad brush and still feels like it needs a lot of work. By any measure, the plans for what are to be opening at this point are ambitious. Hairdressers, presumably cloaked in protective gear, pubs and restaurants, maybe those with outside space, cinemas with seats left empty. This is all aspirational rather than a detailed plan. Boris Johnson made clear everything in this blueprint depends on the infection rate dropping further, but reopening the country also depends on getting the detail and the politics right. It could also be scuppered by unions or employers or even devolved governments rejecting Whitehall's advice. The disease isn't the only hurdle for the Prime Minister.